Anyway, let's go back to the voice. This issue is really important for all of us, but in particular Aboriginal Australians who, who are treated as if there is collectively only one view on this issue. Well, today in Canberra, a group of Aboriginal elders and leaders joined Just Enterprise and Warren Mundine to outline all that's wrong as they see it with The Voice and disprove this nonsense that anyone who disagrees with The Voice is a racist. It's extraordinary that they've had to come all the way to Canberra to be heard. They've got voices, but there's not enough ears in Canberra, as you centre up and says. Joining me now, Indigenous elder Sammy Ponto and no campaigner Sharon Long. Great to have you both on the program, all the way from Canberra. You made a big trip to get down there. Sammy, what was your message to those you spoke to in Canberra? Um, like when I first heard that um, uh, the boys thing, um, I thought to myself, um, just. Um, we said no to it because um, it's going to affect a lot of people, a lot of Aboriginal people around Northern Territory. If they do hear about it, they, like, only half of it just um, saw it and heard what they were saying. And <clears throat> you know, it's, from our point of view, it's sort of like, is, um, what do you call it, um, discrimination, like, um, how do you call it? Um, because um, the voice is, um, you know, we're, we're an Australian, we, you're not supposed to look at us um, like the, you know, we want people to look look at us like an Australian citizen that, you know, we've been living here for a long time and we, we want um, people to see us, uh, don't see us like differently, you know, we're all the same and yeah. We're all the same yeah. and, you know, we <coughs> need to uh, I think that, that's, upgrade us. I think, sorry, Sam, I think that's where a lot of Australians um, support that position you've just said there. You, you don't want to be different. We've spent so long in this country uh, trying to bring uh, all backgrounds of Australians together. Uh, people like you have been here forever and a day and, and those that are newly arrived to see us as Australians first and a bit of our background second. Uh, Sharon, were you able to, to make any headway with Labor ministers? Did you meet the Indigenous minister today and have your say? Um, haven't seen them today. Um, they were nowhere, anywhere near, um, near me. So, so just let me, let me be clear. Did, so didn't the minister turn up to your presentation today? Linda Burney? No, she hasn't come there at all. I um, haven't seen her anywhere near. Um, yeah, haven't Did, seen you, her. Were you she able to speak to, to, to us? So you, you've come yeah. a long way. They're all in Canberra. Why haven't any of the Labor ministers met with you? I'm not sure. Um, I think they're scared because we will be straight out and tell the truth about um, about the voice to parliament. And um, I came to here today to um, to tell Canberra that um, not all blackfellas think the same about the voice. Um, mm. Yeah, to me it's. Um, it's just um, divisive and, um, yeah. Sharon, do people in, in your community, do they understand what this voice is about? No one, no, no one at all. Um, they don't hear these things, no. Um, none of my family does, does, doesn't know what the voice is um, out in remote communities, yeah. Well, congratulations on both of you trying to get some uh, some listening at least happening in Canberra. I am, uh, having worked there myself, I'm ashamed uh, that you weren't able to see the yeah. minister. I think ministers have got to make time for delegations like you. Uh, Sammy Ponto, Sharon Long, thank you though for coming on my program. Right after the break, I, I've got to stop there. That, that is shocking.
The idea that an Aboriginal delegation comes to Canberra and the Minister will not meet with them, I'm sorry, I've got to call that out. I have got to call that out. You know how Canberra works, PMO and others in ministerial offices. That is BS.